I'm James Foley, I'm the Bishop of Cairns and I've been in that uh, position uh, for 26 years and two weeks, August 1992. Uh, lived at Tawong, I'd gone through primary school there, the Catholic school, and it was, looking back, it was a good place to grow up. In my early or mid-teenage years, uh, and that would have been a time when um, most people were deciding what they'd do. My uncle, my mother's brother, was a priest in Brisbane and he died in 1965 when I was second last year of secondary. A week or two after he died, uh, my mother and I went to his presbytery at Inogra just to pick up his personal belongings and it made a deep impression on me that um, uh, really, we packed everything up into two suitcases and it, it struck me, well, um, that was uh, a real witness or challenge and that certainly consolidated the thoughts I'd had about priesthood. The question then was, what type of priest? You can be a priest in a diocese, you can be a priest in a religious order that's involved in teaching, some are involved in parish missions, others in missions overseas. And uh, I suppose because I always liked Brisbane, where I grew up, I liked the thought of being a priest in Brisbane. So I was tossing up doing law, and then I underwent something like a second conversion or a personal conversion uh, to take my faith, take the Lord much more seriously. It was a big change in my life and it was probably you know if I was to psychoanalyze it it was probably you know coming out of the confusion of puberty adolescence and I came out of a family uh, on my mother's side that had a long tradition of uh, uh, people becoming priests brothers religious sisters so it was almost well, perhaps not an expectation that somebody in the family would uh, take on priesthood or religious life, but it was very well received. I got a great deal of encouragement. Next step, in 1967, went to the seminary at Banyo in Brisbane uh, for a seven year course, uh, basically three years of philosophy and four years of theology. Um, things had changed in the church a couple of years before with the Vatican Council, so all of our lectures were in English and they were very up to, up to date. And it was a very broad uh, formation, history, English literature, philosophy, uh, church history, um, and then scripture studies and theology. So even 50 years after, um, we all agreed that we'd been very well served and prepared. And I still find that um, uh, that original training stood me in very good stead. We were ordained in 1973 in August and given two six-week appointments in different parishes around Brisbane and that was very helpful as well because I was in two parishes that were quite different. One was uh, an outer, more uh, a newer, more affluent suburb and the other was a, an inner city, older parish. So you saw, as it were, two extremes and then when I was appointed to a permanent Position. Strangely, it was back to Ashgrove where I'd gone to school and it was a parish very much uh, like I was used to from two, two suburbs away in Tawong. The older I become, uh, uh, the more uh, sort of contemplative or passive I find myself being. I particularly enjoy Sundays because there's an early morning mass at 6.30, then here again at 10 in the cathedral and five, which gives you good space in between. And I find that a very prayerful, contemplative time. I suppose I'm fortunate in that uh, most priests in parishes will have baptisms, weddings, and so forth, other commitments. Here at the cathedral, I'm rather free of those. So I find I can be almost like a monk on a Sunday, almost a monastic existence. And I really value that. Um, and I think I'm much better myself for that rather than being busy, busy, busy.